Have you been thinking about reinventing yourself ever since all the 2020 cancellations? When the pandemic hit and lockdowns began around the world, my career as a touring musician and performing artist got temporarily canceled. In this video, I'm going to share a view back to the onset of Berlin lockdowns when I decided to build a PC from scratch so I could dive deeper into learning VR game development and relating it to my music. Hi, I'm Sky Deep, musician, VR enthusiast, and multimedia artist. If you can appreciate the life of DIY tech and art, then you can show me some love by clicking like and consider subscribing to stay connected. I was trying to think of a way that I could still reach people. That's when the idea of creating for VR came to mind for me. There were some blockages at the beginning. Like the first challenge was definitely financial. I was not in a position to buy a gaming PC setup that was pre-built already. So I needed to build one to get the most bang for my buck. And it had been a really long time since I had even touched a PC. I mean, I was using my MacBook Air for the last six years. And after a lot of research, I realized that for gaming and for any kind of uh, game development, that PC was really my best choice. I needed to switch over. I had used PCs before way in the past, but I had, I forgot, I forgot how to do it. So uh, also one other challenge was that uh, I had never even built a computer before, so that, that was something. So I had to figure out where to start and I didn't know where. There was a big learning curve. And if you wanna know how I actually managed, here come the goods. Ready, set, let's go. So if you take a look, you can see that I have all of these things. I'm starting with uh, a B450 board. It's really a budget build. I, I bought this uh, processor, the CPU, second hand, wish me luck. <laughs> But everybody's been really nice. I got the fan secondhand. Uh, it's the Wraith Prism, I believe, uh, as well as the power supply. I got the power supply secondhand also. Um, yeah, uh, otherwise these other things were brand new. The motherboard, uh, the memory, and the SSD. So now I'm looking forward to putting together a PC for the very first time ever in my life. Let's have some fun. already has this uh, thermal paste on the bottom of it so I should just be able to put it right on top of the processor the CPU Whew. 
So, I'm reading the directions. Oh god, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay, so I'm getting used to this gimbal thing too. So here you'll see I'm reading these directions and it should just latch down. Microphone on anymore. I'm just over here patching cables. A whole different kind of cable. I'm, it's a whole different kind of cable. I'm not even used to these cables. They don't click. How do I know when they're in? Anyway, it's actually not that hard like when I follow the map, but it's just so different than audio patching that it's a mystery. It's fun. Yeah, it's definitely fun, uh, but I'm having more fun phoning my friends than I am shooting this video right now. So. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly show you where I'm at with this. Uh, let's bring the camera down a little bit. Let's turn it. So now I'm working with the... P I just put the PSU in. I just screwed all that in. Um, and now if I bring it around this way, you'll see that on this side, uh, you should be able to see the motherboard and, and all that stuff. So. I've patched a couple of things in down here, uh, and now it's time to really get the power supply, uh, get the power supply plugged in. So there's a whole bunch of cables there that I got to work with. I got the power supply secondhand, so y'all just gonna have to bear with me. I'll be back, but I'm I'm turning the camera off. No cameras, please. So I answered those challenges by number one, hunting for secondhand components whenever and wherever I could uh, all over town. And then even though I was scared of the whole process, I chose to take the leap anyway. I dove into the fire, I went for it, and I gave full commitment to my learning. Another thing I did is I asked a lot of questions and forums and various groups that I belong to uh, I just really reached out to people who I knew had more experience than me. I, I didn't feel I needed to reinvent the wheel or something. Okay, so the world was so weird at that time that I only managed to document bits of the process. And now, several months later, and lots more experience using the PC, I feel amazing. I'm so happy with the results, and it has been super useful in my game building sound design, video editing activities, well, and not to mention gaming. Only thing left for me to do in this whole process to future-proof my XR development uh, chances is to upgrade my GPU, my graphics card. Uh, and so if you're into helping a sister out to reach that goal, support me on a mission to a stronger graphics card so I can keep putting in work and sharing it with you, then uh, I am reachable for uh, contributions on PayPal, Patreon, uh, and I'm even cryptocurrency compatible. Okay, so tell me, because I'm curious, 
Have you picked up any new hobbies or activities during 2020 and the beginning of 2021? Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next round.